government says MOU signing with British company does not guarantee its success in securing production sharing agreement. Details to this story and more in the National Report. With the National Report, I'm Leslie Ann Johnson Cornwall. The Grenada government says the signing of an MOU with MX Oil PLC does not guarantee that a company will be successful in securing a production sharing agreement. The British based oil and gas company MX Oil has signed a non binding memorandum of understanding with the government of Grenada with regard to making an investment in the exploration and development of hydrocarbons in a subterranean area adjoining the maritime boundary with Trinidad and Tobago. The area covered by the MOU includes the underexplored prospective Grenada Tobago Basin acreage adjacent to the Venezuelan Trinidadian Patao Ponsetia gas trend. The intention of the MOU is to form the basis for the negotiation of a more detailed production sharing agreement PSA which if signed is likely to occur during the first half of 2017. It is expected that the PSA will cover matters including but not limited to tenure and work program including 2D seismic and subject to these results proving encouraging further exploratory phases including 3D seismic data acquisition. <music> A work permit policy finalized by the Ministry of Labor is to be presented to Cabinet soon for approval. Labor Minister the Honorable Oliver Joseph says the policy will provide transparent guidelines for employing foreign nationals. Mr. Speaker, we are very concerned with the number of applications being received for jobs that can be done locally. And therefore, a careful analysis will be done in granting work permits to foreign national. The Eastern Caribbean Currency Union has been able to hold its own despite setbacks experienced as a result of global economic challenges. Governor of the Eastern Caribbean Central Bank, Mr. Timothy Antwine, says the fiscal situation has even improved, but there is still much to be done. He urged all to work together in the coming year. Despite the challenges in the global economy, and geopolitical developments including Brexit and Trumpism, 2016 has been a reasonably good year for the Eastern Caribbean Currency Union. In the ECCU, growth has been steady, although still too low and too slow. Our financial system is getting stronger, the fiscal situation has improved, and the EC dollar remains strong. Yet, many development challenges persist. We will, together, tackle these challenges with renewed vigor in the new year. This is the National Report. More news after the break. New Year's Eve and you stuck at home caused the stress of the popular parties just too much to bear. Now, finally, there is an event that beckons where you can cast the stress of the popular parties aside. All grown folks are kindly invited to usher in the new year in majestic style with a fabulous dinner and dance, live band music and DJ music at the Yacht Club in St. George's. Finally, there's an event for grown folks, married, single, divorced, widowed, all welcome. A warm welcome for Prime Minister Dr. The Right Honorable Keith Mitchell, who made an extended visit to the northern tongue of Satez on Wednesday morning. The Grenadian leader walked through High Street, shaking hands, hugging residents, and extending best wishes for the season and the new year to those he encountered. He was in the company of St. Patrick MP and Government Minister, the Honorable Anthony Boson, and Senator Pamela Moses. His trip through the country's most northern tongue took him to the Breakwater Project, which is making significant progress and forms part of a growing list of projects in the parish. Well, I think we're meeting the basic responsibility that we agreed to. So I think we're on, we're on target. I'm so proud of this and uh, I believe Sotez would feel uh, extremely proud when this is all over and the opportunities that it will create for further development in St. Patrick's, maybe a marina or other other aspects of development. Dr. Mitchell also visited pharmacies, supermarkets, banks, saloons, as well as the Soter's police station. His visit there follows a similar walk about through the tongues in St. George's and St. Andrew last week. <music> and over in Victoria, Dr. Mitchell received a warm welcome when he touched down on mid-Wednesday morning. 
the Prime Minister hugged residents as he meandered through the West Coast tongue on an overcast morning following a swing through Cetez. His trip brought him face to face with visitors who were enjoying a trip to the Diamond Cocoa Factory, which was opened in recent years. He exchanged light conversation with an American who was visiting with his family years after he was airlifted from Grenada at the height of the revolution. Dr. Mitchell consoled the sick at the Victoria Medical Station, exchanged greetings with workers at Barry's Plaza, and also walked on to the newly repaired Alston George Park, named after the former national soccer icon. He also took time for a brief stop at Shai's Bar, a hotspot in Victoria. And a few days ago, in the spirit of the holiday season, Dr. Mitchell braved the thick crowds and slightly inclement weather for a visit through the town of St. George on Christmas Eve. Unhindered by packed streets and crowded stores, the Prime Minister moved through the town wishing shoppers best wishes for the season. Children stopped to take pictures with the Grenadian leader while store owners paused for a brief chat. A small crowd in the market square even mobbed Dr. Mitchell and praised his efforts in leading the country's economic revival. Dr. Mitchell walked into stores, supermarkets and bars wishing persons alike best wishes for the season. It was his third trip through the town of St. George as part of a face-to-face -face with the people at the height of the season. And that's the National Report. I'm Leslie Ann Johnson Cornwall.